We're going to learn Mesechtis Brachis, Perek, Aleph, Mishnah, Beis. This Mishnah is going to discuss when is the earliest that a person can start saying Shema in the morning and until when is the latest that they can say Shema in the morning. So begins our Mishnah. When can a person start saying Shema in the morning? There are two opinions. The first opinion is the opinion of the Tanakhama that you can start saying Shema when it is light enough to see the difference between blue and white wool. The second opinion of our Mishnah, the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer, he says that it has to be a little bit lighter where you can tell the difference between blue and green. The word karti is green leek and you need for there to be more light outside to see the difference between blue and green. Now, until when is the latest that a person can say the Shema in the morning? The Mishnah will bring two opinions. The first opinion, the opinion of Rabbi Eliezer, says that until Neitz Hachama, until sunrise, that is until when a person can say the Shema. The second opinion, the opinion of Rabbi Yehoshua, is that a person can say the Shema until the end of the third hour in the morning, until 9 a.m., because that is the time that Bnei Malachim, that princes, wake up in the morning. However, concludes the Mishnah, that even if a person did not say the Shema until after 9 a.m., they should still say it then. Because even though they won't get the schar, they won't have the reward of reading the Shema, they, of getting that mitzvah, they will still get the reward for reading a part of the Torah. We are now going to read the Mishnah inside. From when can we read Shema in the morning? Says the Tanakama, When there's enough light that you can recognize the difference between blue and white. Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Eliezer says, You need more light, enough to differentiate between blue and green. And you must complete saying Shema up until sunrise. Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Yeshua says, You can complete saying the Shema up until three hours in the morning at 9 a.m. Because that is the way of princes to get up by three hours in the morning. But a person that reads the Shema from then and onwards, even after 9 a.m., they did not completely lose out. Because even though they don't get the mitzvah of reading the Shema, it's ka'adam hakari batera. It's like a person that's reading from the Torah and they get the schar of learning Torah.